Hey lovelies, you know what we're gonna do today? Hair! If you've got baby fine hair or not, I think you'll get something out of this video. I'm gonna show you the products that I'm using. I'm gonna show you um, how to style your hair uh, straight and then also curly. So if you're a baby fine hair girl and you just suck with your hair, you feel like you do, that's me. I've always wanted really thick hair. Um, just didn't happen for me. I had my daddy's hair. I didn't get my mom's. So if I'd have got my mom's, I'd have like three times the hair I have now. <laughs> and it would be awesome. -ish. But I have stick straight baby fine hair. It's so hard to deal with. And when I got COVID, it really, really just ruined my hair. So I had to cut my hair shorter than I like. But I've learned to love it here very recently. So I want to show you how I do my hair now. And if you're, you know, struggling with the same issue, come on along with me and let's learn a few tips and tricks to help your hair look better. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. I love doing hair now. Um, I have found so many great products to use and I hope you go out and grab some of these and I'll list everything below for sure. Now, this is a brand new product to me. It's called Divi Scalp Serum Revitalize Plus detoxify. Now, I just got this and I have not used it yet, so I'm excited about using it. I love the packaging because you can just pull this straight out and this is what it looks like. So, you're supposed to use this every day, okay? Every single day. It's a serum. You put it, it you know, where your sparse places are, which mine is going to be here and here at the very top, um, probably in the back underneath. I would want it there too, but we're going to see what it does. I'm going to, you know, I'll do a special video on just this. I'm going to take pictures before and after. So I'm going to get started on it, but it's going to be a few months because it takes a little time for this to work. So the first thing that I love to do with my hair, there are some products that I absolutely love and it's just Miracle 10. I love this stuff. My husband loves this. He uses it all the time too. Uh, it's a leave-in product. Wash your hair, so, as I'm talking about it, let's go ahead and just take this off so you can see my crazy hair. <laughs> Look at that. Yes, I have such baby fine hair. Make sure you have a wide tooth comb, too, um, when you're combing your hair, especially if it's baby fine. Mine is so, you know, baby fine thin. Now, she did, when she colored it the last time, she did put a lot of um, low lights in it. So, I, it's a little darker than you've probably seen me wear it, okay? But this is what I do. I take... Uh, the Miracle 10 is the first thing that I put on, okay? Shake it up. It does have a top, a lost top, I guess, when my husband did, because we both use this. And what you want to do is just spray it. And that's it. And I take my fingers and just kind of run it through and make sure that it gets everywhere. You don't have to close your eyes like I do. But <laughs> So that is the first thing that I do. The second thing that I like to do is this is Lange, uh, it's called Envy. It's a biotin leave-in conditioner. I love this on the ends of my hair, okay? The very, very bottom here. So you take this, it is a leave-in product. So that's wonderful. You're gonna get some great benefits out of it. You don't have to have much. That's about as much as you need. And I just basically run it through the bottom of it and maybe throw up to your, all the way. I don't usually put it on the top of my head, but I guess you could if you wanted to. I really use it because of the bottoms. You know what it's like when you have baby fine hair. It's the flyaway hair that I don't like. And it makes it look thinner, okay? So this has really been a, a game changer for me. I really love this product. And I'll link it all below. And this one, I really like. This one gives me the most volume ever um, when you're doing your hair. It's called Root Effects. It is a Lanza product. It's healing volume, girlfriend. It's a mousse. So what you do... What I typically will do is, see this up here? See how thin? Look at that. I mean, this is where I want to put that, this product here. That's where I want it to be. Because <laughs> that is just like crazy thin looking. And I know I've got some gray through there too, so that's probably why it looks that way to me. But what you want to do is take this in wet hair. It's a mousse. And you want to spray it exactly where you want it to be. So I want all the lift mostly up in this area here. Rub it in. That's all you do. I watched a video on this too, not too long ago. And this is what they did. Rub it all in. I want it right here too, in the top. But get right at the roots. That's where you want to be. Get in the roots. Now this was a hairdresser that I watched because I bought this product and never had used it before, never heard of it. And um, I don't know, I just love it. Now, because guess what it does? And the reason I 
put it up here is because this is where I want more volume. So that's what it gives you is the volume I'm after. It makes me look like I have more hair. Now, if you want to come underneath here, I do like to come just right down below because that's one of my problems too areas. And then I just kind of go around, do my scalp like this, you know, kind of work it into it. And there you go. So those are the products that I use. Now, after, let me comb this back. After I do, um, it gets dry and everything like that. And maybe it's your second day or third day hair. I love this product. It's um, Alterna. It's an anti-aging and it's a powder that you can put on your scalp. And it really does help to, to get away the oils because I'm trying to not wash my hair but every three days now. And so this has been, it's a sheer dry shampoo, but it comes out, it's just like a powder. I hate to waste some of it, but I want to show you. It's just See how that, it's very, very light. Very light. And it just lands and you just work it into your hair just like I did the mousse. Okay, that's exactly what you do with it. So let's, let me show you how what I use to dry my hair with. Okay, let's do this. This is my favorite hair dryer. This is a Timo. Um, it's like a, I love it. It's it's kind of oblong shaped. Can you see that? It's not like perfectly round. I like that because it gives you lift as you're using it. And it just smooths out your, your, your hair. If you've got like frizzy hair like me at the ends, kind of frayed ends. This is what I love to do. I love to use this. And then I also love this two-in-one time. This is my Timo too. This is a flat iron but it has a cooling effect. All these little holes you'll see right there. If you've got baby fine hair, girl, you, this is gonna be your best friend. You can straighten your hair with this and you can curl your hair with this. And we're gonna do both today. I'm gonna do it straight and I'm gonna show you how to use this curly, okay? So, <laughs> but this is the first thing that I use. It does have um, two settings down here. I usually do it on the one because I don't like it to be drying it too fast. So I'm gonna make this kind of quick and I'll speed up this part and I'll just kind of talk you through it, okay? So let's get going. Okay, she's all dried, and this is the way it comes out when I dry it. Now, my hair is cut to where I can wear it this way or this way, and sometimes it doesn't always do right on one way, and so I change it to the other, and then it does better, so that's why you see me kind of flipping back and forth. Now, you are going to need some big, sexy hairspray, and you need spray and play, not spray and play harder. Don't get that. You won't be able to comb through your hair. So, see how slim and sleek it is now? I love it. And, but however, I like more lift in this part of my hair. So what I have, let me roll my sleeves up because this is, this is a challenge sometimes. <laughs> I love these. These I ordered off of Amazon, I believe, and they've got the metal inside of them. So if you want to use a little heat on them to kind of get the curl and the lift that you want, you can. Basically what I do, I have a flat spot right here. And so that's where I start because I don't like that flat spot. And what I like to do is take my Big Sexy and just lightly spray right at the roots, and that's it. Don't, don't spray anywhere else, and then just roll it. And then I know a lot of people don't like these, but I do. I, I do. I, I just absolutely love these. I can walk around and get my coffee in the morning and just kind of walk around. And I don't, you know, really put a whole lot of these in here. I don't do my whole head. I just do this part here in the front. And these kind of stick together, which I like, so they're not gonna fall out. Now, on the sides, I use these, which are a little smaller. And I only do the top part of my hair now, that's it. I don't do anything else. And I will come in and spray just a tad 
of Big Sexy. Because Big Sexy is, I don't know what I'd do without Big Sexy. I really don't. I used to use, oh my gosh, what was that hairspray in the back? Aquanet? Oh my goodness, I couldn't even comb my hair. <laughs> that was like the worst. But you had to have something. And now that um, Big Sexy's around here, I just love it. Now, that's it. Now, if I want to, probably I'll put one back here in the very back, just so that it has some lift there in the bottom of my hair right here. And I don't spray it or anything like that. Now, you can come back if you want to and just go woo, like that. Just a tad to set it off. And then I'm going to move on. And this is where I would normally go and finish my face, my makeup and stuff like that. But I've already got that done. So I'm going to let these set for a few minutes. And then when I come back, we're going to straighten it out using this two-in-one. I want to show you how to use this. This thing is fabulous. You got baby fine hair? You're going to love this. We're going to straighten it first. And then I'm going to turn around and we're going to curl this hair. What do you think about that? A two-in-one for you today. So that means I'm going off today with some curly hair. Normally, I wear my hair straight for like two days. And then the third day, I use this to get the volume I need. So I'm, I'm trying to wash my hair like every three days. And it's really, really helped my hair a lot because it's not getting that abuse every day of the hair and the washing and stuff like that and the drying it. So keep that in mind. Try to at least do that. You can do dry shampoo if you want to, if you feel like you need it. Um, I don't usually do that. I just let mine go. And, you know, because I am going to use a lot of hairspray. That's just me. I'm a hairspray freak. And <laughs> it's just hairspray. I don't know what I do without it. So we're going to let this sit for a minute or two. And then I'll come back and we will straighten out this wonderful, beautiful baby fine hair. Okay, you ready? Let's grab this tool. Ta-da, this is it. This is the coolest thing ever. Now, uh, you see the blinking light. I don't know if you can see it. See it right there. And then this is where you turn it on at. And then this one gives you the different levels you want here. Because the higher you go, you know, the hotter it's going to be. So, typically, I keep it on a two down here. So, let's turn it on. And if you don't do anything, it's going to warm up. And then at some point, it's just going to start all by itself. So right now it's sitting, it's blinking. You see the one blinking? That's on, that's the three. So basically if I want to go ahead and start using it, I just push this top button and it turns it on. You hear it? I love that. And then this button also, you can do the um, up and down here. It's really, really a cool product. I'm going to leave it where it is because we're going to use this part inside here. And you can feel it's cool coming around it. So this is how it works when you're curling your hair. You put it here, you turn it, it's, it's, it's like all in one. It's curling it and setting it at the same time. So basically that's how this works. But when I'm just gonna wear it straight, I will just come down like this. And anything, you know how baby fine hair is, sometimes you have those wonderful flyaways that suck. And I, I don't like those. <laughs> And I, I have a hard time with my hair. You know, in the South, we're all about big hairs most of the time. I had to get away from that. I, man, my mama used to perm my hair. Good Lord, it was horrible. I look like a, oh, a poodle. That's what I'm. <laughs> but you know, I thought it looked good back then, and back then it was the thing. It was the thing to do. So back here, I'm just kind of turning it under. That's all. Just a little. This is pretty much just smoothing it out. I'm not really putting any curl in it at all. And then you take these out, just be gentle. And see the lift you get. Yes, ma'am. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I, like, I like the lift here. So what I do is I don't go all the way to the root. I just kind of bring it right here and kind of lift it up and turn it. And it just smooths it out. Do the same thing on this side. Wow, that's some lip. But you know what that's from? That's, you know, from the mousse that I use and uh, the hairspray. So just take it and do like this. Girl, you're going to love it. This is one of the best tools I have ever used to do my hair. Uh, baby fine hair sucks. It just does. And typically, all right, see in the back? It's, it's all lifted too. So let's come back here. Close your eyes and you see the back of your head. Yeah what I do. I see the back of my head. 
Now, curling it is going to be a totally different world, okay? I'm just telling you that. All right, get up here at the top. And really up here, I don't do too much with it up here. I do like to just kind of push it uh, which direction I ever want it to go. I let it decide on its own because my hair is so baby fine that I'm not quite sure which side it wants to go to. But you're going to need a comb like this, a wide tooth comb. And I have a pick. This is the pick. I think I was with my ex-husband when I had this. I've had this pick longer than I have my new husband. And we've been married 13 years. <laughs> I've probably had this thing for 20 years, at least that long. And I can't find another one like it. So when I can't find it, I get kind of upset because this has like been my friend most of my life this thing so take it <laughs> and i'm not i'm not kidding i'm telling you the truth all right so you decide which way you want it to go girl at this point you decide which way you want it to go because tell your hairdresser to cut it so that you can wear it either way because you've got baby fine hair you never know what it's going to do you know what i'm saying so if you want it to go this way then you, you look at it and you decide where you want it to go, this way or this way. Typically, mine here lately has been doing better going this direction. So let's just leave it in that direction. Now, what I'm gonna do is take just the very top up here and you're just gonna kinda lift and go back. That's all you're gonna do. You're not gonna do too much curling here at all. We're just kind of giving it a little bit of dimension and straighten it out if you got flyaways because we know with baby fun hair, we're gonna have that. And just smooth it out. Basically, that's what I do. I don't do a whole lot to it, really. And you can be out the door really quickly in the mornings just doing this. You can. It's really a cool way to do it. Now, let me think. I'm, I'm looking at the back of my head. I'm coming up and going down. I do like to lift in the crown. I do never, never tease my hair, ever. I'm not good at that. I, I really kind of suck at that, and, and I don't really like it because it puts knots in your hair, pretty much, to me, it's the way it feels, and I just don't like it. Now, if I wanted to, I could still come back this way. You see, make sure your stylist will cut your hair in the way that you would love for it to go. So if you're going to dry it one way, do that and then come back and you'll have more volume so that's kind of sort of what i just did there let me turn this off because i'm done with this okay for now i'm done with it. <laughs> so this is how she would look if i wanted to wear it straight and then definitely i would take my um hairspray and typically what i do everybody's asking me how i get volume i will hold my hair out and spray it like this and just sit here a second because what it's doing is it's drying and you're gonna have more look, lift on that side. Same thing with this side, just spray it. And then just take your hands and kind of pull it out just a little. Spray a little on the top. Look at that. <laughs> Easiest thing to do ever. If you got baby fine hair, um, this is probably one of the best hairstyles that I've had in a long time. Actually, it, it is. And I love the way she cuts it. It's not in too many layers because um, I'm trying to let it grow out. But this is basically what I do every single day, except on the third day, I'm going to curl it. So this is style number one. What do you think? I love it like this. I do. And I, the next day, what I do is I get up and uh, all I do is come through it and I use this tool again to straighten it out because I've slept on it, you know what I'm saying? Unless you sleep in one of those things where your hair don't, you know, get messed up. But this is what you do. And if you want it to be a little higher here in the center, just lift it up and then spray it like this. And then just take the pick and just kind of lift it up. That way you're not having to tease your hair. Please don't tease your hair. I can't do it anyway. I'm not good at it. Um, and when I did try it, I didn't like it anyway, because it looks, I don't know, like a rat nest to me. When I, <laughs> I just don't like it. And I love my hair to be more smooth and sleek-like. That's what I like. And then all you do is just go around. Make sure you get you a pick like this. I have no idea the name of this pick. It's probably a goodies. I mean, seriously, I've had this 20-something years at least. It's the only thing that's lasted in my life yet. Yeah. <laughs> As we go along, now I'm going to get ready to do it curly. And I'm going to show you how to make it curly. 
You can wear it like this two days, remember? And then third day, we're gonna curl it. Okay, let's get started on this. Now, you're gonna need something like this, or you can use little clips like this because I do have to pull the hair up out of my way. Sometimes on the third day, I'm not gonna do it today, I, I have the rollers in it. I go ahead and put the rollers in on the top. But since I'm not doing that today, since I've just done that, typically I would put the rollers here and here and one back here, okay? and leave it. And that way I curl the rest of my hair and then when I let that down, it works really well. But what I'm gonna do today is, since it's all clean and ready to go, I'm gonna take uh, this one here and I'm gonna pull my hair as much as I can up. Get as much as I can. You know, I got, I don't have a whole lot of hair, so, and definitely you gotta get it back here too. So get it all up here and then I'll twist it and I'll just leave it like that. Then we have all of this to curl. You see, I don't want the top part in it because I don't really, I don't really curl the top part. I like it like this. So let me pull up my sleeves because we got to get a job going here. So <laughs> see, it's, I have fun doing this. I swear, I love doing my hair. So here we go. We're gonna use this again, and I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. It's my best friend. I'm telling you, it is my best. This is my girlfriend. That's my dog, Sugar. What are you doing, Sugar? I think she sees something on the carpet over there that a little bit probably had my mom's dog. And so she probably wants to take it <laughs> and make ownership of it or something. Who knows? Now, if you want to, you can take these. This is what I have these for. If you really want to pull some of it up, which I recommend you do, take a little bit, take this, and just put this up so it stays out of the way. And now you're just working with this part only. Watch how this curls. Don't do it in really small sections. Go ahead and grab you some big sections, girl, because you're going to need it. So just take it and do it like this. <laughs> it curls like that. I love it. My hair just loves this thing. Heck, I love this thing. I love how it does. And you just turn it and just slide down. And it gives you these beautiful little ringlets. Now, if you don't want to go all the way to the bottom, you don't have to. I typically will pull this out, just turn it, and it gets a curl. It's amazing. That's a, what you doing, sugar? Take this, turn it, just slide it down, just like this. And you get these nice little, if you want like super curly curly, then, you know, hold it just a little bit longer. But I really just like to kind of slip it in and out and just let it be like that. That's the way I like mine. That way I can manipulate it the way I want to. And it just makes it so cute. And I'm going to go all the way around my head doing this. Slowly. See how that curls? <laughs> Best thing you'll ever use. I'm going to kind of do the bottom just kind of under. I just kind of roll it under. But I'm going to come back here on the back of my head and just grab some of these sections and do this all over, girl all over your head. So what I'm going to do is probably, I'll do some of this other part off camera, and then we'll I'll show you how I do the top of it, but I want you to get the gist of this. Just go around. Do as many as you want. Uh, make it as curly as you want. I can make this one curlier if I wanted to, just by slowing down. See that? And it's going to give you more of a curl. So if you go through it faster, it's, you're not going to get big loopy curls, but if you go slower, you will get these kind of loopy curls. So, let me go ahead and do everything but the top. Okay, so I'm getting up close to the top now, and all I'm doing is just kind of, basically here, I don't really curl it as much. I just kind of bring it up and away from the top of my head, like that. That way I have some lift going through there, and then I just do the same thing back here. Take it, turn it. And I'll show you the back of it. Um, I, I'm not able to show you that till I get done with it, but I'll show you how I do the back. Pretty much, you just fluff it out. This whole thing is so simple and easy to do. The very top here, I do want to show you this. I take this, and all I do is just go up and back. That way I have the lift, you see? Same thing here, up. Now you can curl this if you want to. I am gonna put little curls like right in here because I do like it right in here. You have to section it off too. I'm so good at doing this now that I just go with it. 
I do. I just literally just go. My husband's like, how are you getting it done so fast? I said, I don't know. I just got it. And wherever you want the curl, that's where you put it. And I have super baby fine hair. Now, the one thing about having uh, your hair colored is that it's probably going to curl a little bit easier. Only because the follicles are, you know, more open. Um, it doesn't really matter, though. Girl, you do me. That's what I do. I do me. I just do me. And I bring it down. And I'm not, I'm not a perfect uh, professional at this. So, you know, I work at it all the time. I try different things. And I'm going to take this one, and we're going to go back with it. And then this one, I'm going to come down with it, okay? So these, this is where I get all that volume. Let me feel the back of my head and see if I've missed anything. Look, I close my eyes so I can see the back of my head. Here we go. I want the curl here, right at the bottom. And I feel around and I go, okay, there's another one. <laughs> That's all I'm doing. It's doing the same thing over and over all over your head, pretty much. Now, what you're going to do, let me take this part here. I need to curl this one. I need to curl a little bit down here. So grab, I, I kind of like to grab more hair than I do on top. Just because this down here is not really where I get a whole lot of curl in it. But there you go. Okay. Now, let's turn it off. And before you go messing with it, you're going to have to spray it. So spray it. Now. <laughs> now. Don't. Touch it. Go get you some coffee. Go in the kitchen, get you some coffee, talk to your hubby a little bit, get on to your children or whatever you need to do, and then come back. Let this do its thing. I leave it for about 15 minutes, honestly. I don't touch it. I don't do anything to it. I let it settle. So let it settle. I think that was the one thing I was doing wrong a long time ago. I'd go ahead and start trying to fix it, and it just wouldn't work. But if you go ahead and let it cool off, and just settle and then come back and then we're going to fluff it out with our fingers and we're going to spray it we're just going to scrunch it and you're going to love how it looks at the end okay let's start fluffing it out that's what we do just a little at a time i close my eyes so that i can pretend to see the back of my head okay and i just fluff it all over and you see how it's kind of coming together then i spray it just a little Set a second because I don't want these ends to fall okay that's the whole key and it's not supposed to be perfect and that's what I love about this look is that I can just curl it and it just it actually stays it's the most amazing thing I've ever done honestly I used to have perms and then get this and it would be so uh, hard on me because my hair would break off back then it was so baby fine so I had to quit doing that kind of thing but my mom did my perms, and then I did have them permed by someone else, too. But it just, it just my hair just didn't like it. So, you got to have your pick, and you need your little comb if you need to use it. I don't use the comb pretty much uh, through here. I do take the pick, and I just kind of pick it out. That's why it's called pick. And, <laughs> yeah, I go all the way around just kind of like this. Just kind of separating, you know, and just changing it out. Not everybody's going to do their hair the same, but this is the way I like to do mine. So, there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray it and I scrunch it. This is why I do this on third day hair. Because I'm going to have more hairspray in it than I normally would. And because I want to keep that curl. And here in Alabama, you know, not right now, it's not humid. But boy, when it's humid, you can't have a hairstyle. So you really have to have something that's good in this big, sexy, works good in this humidity when we have it. But you see what I do? Just take your hands and scrunch it. All the way around, you're going to scrunch it. That's how it works. You don't need any special tools for this except your fingers. <laughs> and that's the beauty of it. That is so true. And every time I do this, I get lots of questions on how I do this. And I've had questions on here of how I do this. So I just decided, see, this is why I love my pick. I, I don't like flat hair on top of my head. I got a little old head. So 
I used to call it a pea-sized head. <laughs> but look, my whole hand covers my face. So I do. I have a little old head. So this is this is the way I have to do my hair. Now, spray that right there and just let it set a minute. And I spray and I scrunch. Scrunch it, girl. Because that's what makes it pretty. And then, you know, I'll have to go in the bathroom and look at the back of it. And I'll do that before. See, I'm pretending that I'm looking at the back of my head right now. So I'm going to spray it, and I'm going to scrunch it, because that's the key. The scrunch makes it. I like it, because it's totally different for me, and it makes my hair look like it has a lot of body. So I'm going to let it set. I'm going to go in the bathroom, and I'm going to look at the back, and then I'm going to come back, and we're going to do a whole turnaround so you can see the whole thing. And here you go. This is our finished look. I mean... This is so easy to do, y'all. Y'all can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. I ain't a hairdresser, but I do love big hair, and so <laughs> I always have because I don't have much hair. But let me just say, this tool right here it will be your best friend. It really will. I love this thing. I have been using it and using it and using it, and I still, to this day, cannot find other products like that. I, I really love it. So here's the back of my hand in that gorgeous. I love this look. Okay, so if you have any questions, put them in the comments. I would love to hear some of your secrets. Share those with me, please, because if you have baby fine hair, we got to stick together, girlfriends, because <laughs> we don't have much hair. and We want some, I do. And I do love my hair pieces now, and I, I absolutely love my hair pieces, but since I've gotten it cut shorter, I haven't been able to wear them as much because I really can't pull it around in a ponytail, which is what I love to do. So, so I did the other day have a clip on ponytail and I did wear that and it looked pretty good that day. So, but it's, you know, you can't see the dark part of it when you wear it like that. So please like and share and click that notification bell. I'm here on Sundays only. You come and visit me on Sundays and we'll have a good time here in old Alabama. Right now it's a cloudy, dreary day, but Lister's going shopping. I got to finish up Christmas. I'm not even done yet. Hmm. I'm, I haven't even put up my tree <laughs> That's something else I got to do today, too. I've just been so busy. All right. I hope y'all have a great day, and I will see you next Sunday. See you later.